Hey guys, so following my video on Fab Filters Volcano 3, I was asked if I can compare it to UVI Shade. Of course I can. Let's do it. Right, so what we have is first of all the two plugins here. So I'm going to clear them and we'll see what we have in each one. So this one is clear and the next one. But before we even dive into the differences and what we get in each, let's talk a little bit about what are they, what kind of plugins. So both of them are EQ filter plugins that will allow you to do whatever EQ or filtering job you might want to do, but also they have modulation, which means that you can have things moving and modulated as you play the audio through. So let me demonstrate that real quick in both of them, and then we'll dive into the details. So here I have shade. What I can do is first create the curves and I can have just a simple low pass and I can set the slope, for example, and let's play something. Right, just like an EQ and I can boost or cut whatever. And we'll get into more details later. Now let me again clear this and go to Fab Filter. And in Fab Filter, the same idea. I'm going to click here and you already see what we're doing. We have a low pass. And I can change that to high pass, band pass, and so on. So that's the basic idea behind these plugins. But as I said, we have modulations. So uh, what is that? Well, I can have, uh, for example, LFO and have that LFO move whatever parameter. So in this example, we're talking about the cutoff frequency. And that's the idea. So again, both of them very similar in that sense. So the question is, what is the difference? Which one is, uh, well, it is going to do the best job for you? Well, I'm going to spoil that already. Well, it's really up to you. I'm going to show you what you can get with each one of them and you decide. But if I'm missing anything and there are a lot of features in both of them that I'm, I'm going to skip, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer whatever questions. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with shade. I'm going to clear everything. And again, we have this menu here, clear, and we're all set. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is the different curves. What, what kind of EQ or filtering curves we have in both of them. So starting with shade, I'm going to click here and right click, you'll see all the choices. We have low pass, high pass, notch, bend pass, and so on. But we also have phaser, comp, flanger, and we have some special stuff here. All in all, about 35 different curves. Very nice. And now let's head over to Fab Filter. And here you can see that we have much limited list of options. We have just the basic low pass, high pass, bend pass, bail, low and high shelves. We have notch, all pass. So um, very useful, but still not really what you can find in shade. As, uh, as you can see, right clicking here, you get some very interesting stuff. So that's pretty, uh, pretty nice and very useful. But now let's go and see what else we have. So first of all, I'm going to again clear this and let's talk about multi filtering or multiple curves. So um, in shade, I'm going to just have a resonant here and going to set the slope to something. And 
when I add another filter, you'll see the representation here on this bar, on this area, and you can just flick between them, and then you'll see the different things that that curves will offer you. So you have the frequency, you have gain, slope, and uh, Q width, things like that. Let's have uh, a quick example with Volcano. So in Volcano, I'm going to add another filter here. And what we have for each of the filters is, first of all, we have on the left here routing. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Then we have drive. We have the frequency, but we have another something here, that, that ring, that's the panning. So we have the filter panning. I'm going to show you that later. It's pretty cool. And then we have the peak. Uh, we have slope. That's the slope. We have delay. And we also have levels and again output filter panning so that's what you have here and it, it really is uh, very similar in many ways so that's what we get here let's have a listen to some of the things that you can find in uh, in shade just an example let's go for dynamics uh, or moving moving fx <laughs> And now let's have a quick look at Fab Filter Volcano. I'm going to bypass Shade, get Volcano, and let's see what we have. So let's go with Modulation. So now let's talk about routing. And in Fab Filter, you can see this here on the left, we have this uh, area where when you click this, you see different ways to route each of the filters. So normally you would have something just uh, serial. So one goes into the other and eventually they all sum up, but you can definitely do something else. For example, in parallel. So each one is filtering whatever uh, signal is coming in and then everything is summed up at the end or, well, anything in between. Very powerful. Now let's head over to Shade and see what we've got there. So I'm going to bypass this one, go to Shade, and here we have something uh, a little bit different. So I'm going to select this uh, first one and Let's see what we've got. So we have this icon here. So this is the stereo configuration. And in this uh, stereo configuration, you, you'll click this, you'll see that we have the usual left, right, or stereo mid side, left, right, mid, and side. But we don't have any way to get those filters, the two filters that I have right now, and have them in different configurations. So that's the difference that we have between those plugins. And, but, it's really cool that we have mid-side and we can do things in, in that area, which I didn't find in uh, Volcano. So let's see what else we have here in Volcano. Yeah, it's not here. So I'm going to close that one and close this one. And let's see some other types of differences. Well, we have the modulations, which is very important. So I'm going to clear everything out again. I'm in shade, so I'm going to clear this and I'm going to show you the type of modulations you have and some examples of how you can use them. So in, uh, in shade, let's create a low pass multi resonant and something interesting here, by the way, if you go for higher slopes, I mean, 36 dB per octave is pretty uh, steep and you already see the shape. This is really interesting. It will give a lot of, I mean, kind of coloring to uh, whatever signal you have. But we are here to talk about the modulation. So if you click the plus here, you'll see that we have 10 different 
types of modulations. We have envelope figure follower, which is an envelope follower. We have pitch tracking, and you can route that through a um, separate MIDI track. We have LFO, macros. We have MSEG, uh, multi-segment envelope. We have random spread, stereo spreading, and we have an XY pad. Now, before I even go and show you that, let's head over to Fab Filter Volcano, see what we've got here. So I'm going to close this. And here I'm going to clear everything up again. And let's see what we've got. So we have slider, which is kind of a macro. We have uh, XY controller, which is the XY pad. We have XLFO, which is similar to the shade LFO. We have envelope generator, envelope follower, and MIDI source. So the MIDI source, again, something that you can use to route MIDI. That could be, by the way, uh, your mod wheel, pitch wheel, or uh, maybe a different track. So very similar, but still we have many options in shade that you don't see here. Let me show you some of the differences. So one of the more interesting would be figure. So you can see that it's a cir circle and you can use the XY. For example, let's get X on the frequency and Y I'm going to put on the Q. So now you see exactly what's happening. But that's not all. I can change the shape and I can have more vertex. And so this is pretty interesting. And you see the rate, the rate right now it's in Hertz, but I can lock that to uh, my tempo, to my project. And setting the amount of modulation is very easy. You hover on, on that X or Y and just push up or down. Right, that's pretty nice stuff. And uh, well, that's something that you, you don't have in Volcano. Let's see some other things that you can do. And uh, for example, spread. So the spread will be a left right kind of uh, control. Let's see how that works. Right, and I'm going to connect that one to the frequency and push up. So you have to listen to that with your headphones or studio monitors. And I'm going to add an LFO and have that LFO work its magic on the spread. So that's pretty cool, but we can do that also in Volcano in a, a little bit different way, but still very similar. So I'm going to bypass shade. I'm going to show you what I can do with, uh, with this. So I'm going to add modulation and have an LFO and connect that LFO to that ring here. And that exactly uh, will do the same. So the LFO here is pretty nice because we, we, you can do some stuff that I didn't find in shade. I can hit the plus here. Let's hit the plus again and again, and I can create something like this. So even another one. And I can lock that to my project tempo. And here the amount of modulation is set uh, in, in this dot here. You click this, you'll see the amount of modulation. And that's pretty nice. So that, that's very similar. Let's see some other stuff that we have in Volcano. So I'm going to close that one and let's add modulation. We have the envelope follower, for example. So I'm going to again demonstrate that on the frequency cutoff. Clicking in and this is 
just following the incoming signal and it can be by the way uh, normal input or it could be the side chain so from somewhere else <laughs> and we have attack and we have release. Let's see the same idea in shade. So I'm going to bypass this one, go into shade and let's clear some stuff here. Just going to clear this and this one and let's add a follower and I'm going to modulate the frequency here. <laughs> And so let's see some more stuff that we have in shade while we are already here. So we have random and let's uh, let's just close this uh, this one and connect this again to the frequency. Going to do this. And so we have randomization, which pretty nice. I, I don't think we have that one in uh, Volcano. <laughs> So that's uh, another something that you will find in Shade. Let's see what else we have. So we have the MSEC. This is pretty cool. And again, something that I didn't find really in, uh, in uh, Volcano. You could do something similar with the XLFO, but it's not really the same. So the MSEC is a multi-segment envelope. And let me show you how that works. I'm going to just double click in some places here and I have these dots. So it's a kind of a function that you can use to modulate whatever. And you have this uh, grid here and we can lock this to the grid and we can also do this. I can just go on and on and draw some stuff. And now I can connect that one to, for example, the frequency and everything will move in that sequence. Pretty nice, right? So next, let's see what else we have here in shade. We have, uh, we also have macro and I can just use that macro. Let's, uh, let's just put that on the frequency and I'm just using that the same way I would use uh, the slider in Volcano. Let me show you that in Volcano. So in Volcano, I'm going to close this one and let's see the slider and I'm going to use this here and also for the pick. And now I'm controlling both of these parameters with one slider. This is pretty much the same as the macro. What else do we have in Volcano? So in Volcano, we have the MIDI source. Let's, uh, let's close this one. The MIDI source will let you use MIDI controller or MIDI commands. And if you click this, you'll see that we have the mod wheel, we have pitch band, we have velocity, aftertouch, keyboard tracking, and a controller. So you can route whatever controller. And let's do this, uh, for example, with the mod wheel here. And right now, when I'm using the mod wheel, I'm going to connect this. The, nothing happens. I need to use a, an external MIDI. So I'm going here to the MIDI and going to route that one to fab filter. I think that's the one. No, this one. And now I'm just using the mod wheel. Same idea you would find in also in shade. Um, but I can also use this uh, in, in pitch band, for example. And I need to play both of them. Um. 
All right, let's uh, let's have a quick look at what we have with MIDI in shade. I'm going to bypass Volcano, get shade, and let's see, we have the uh, pitch tracking, for example. So I'm going to connect that again to our frequency. And now, now I can use that, but uh, what I can do also is go to pitch here, set it to MIDI and go to my MIDI track. Let's go to MIDI track and connect that one. Let's see, where is it? That's uh, this one. And that's the MIDI uh, track, or pitch tracking with MIDI. Going back and well, that's, uh, I think, pretty much what I wanted to show you guys. So we covered the basic differences. Of course, there are more and more differences, which I probably missed, but these are the main. So let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer. And you can also get in touch with me uh, through my Discord server. I'll put the link and we can chat about both of these plugins, of course like this video if you like it so far and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks and bye bye